Yvette. Thank you, Yvette, for acknowledging that's why I have on a coat, and you, the three of you do not, because uh, I'm from California. But I'm very happy to be here once again in Brooklyn. I was here last night, so this is not... I'm going to the Bronx later today uh, because we're talking about uh, and thanking New York uh, for the contribution you all make and the leadership that you send to the Congress. The chair of our House Democratic Caucus, Hakeem Jeffries, a great leader in the Congress of the United States. Thank yes. you for sending her there. Uh, as was yeah. mentioned, Anidia Nidia Valesquez, uh, not only the chair of the um, of the Small Business Committee, which would be reason enough to celebrate her leadership in the Congress, but very high up in the uh, Financial Services Committee, where she works for consumers as well as small businesses on that committee as well. And as Yvette Clark mentioned, she's on the Energy and Commerce Committee. This piece that she emphasized about broadband is very, very important because when we're talking about workforce development and so many other aspects of America's working families, that has made a tremendous difference. She was very important in the whole bill, uh, but especially that part that came under her committee. I associate myself with the remarks that they've all made because they've gone to the point, but I just want to make a point about these New York representatives, all of them here. New York in, the, in this bill gets $11.6 billion, $11.6 billion to repair highways, $9.8 billion to improve public transit, $1.9 billion to fix and replace bridges, and $685 million to upgrade airports. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of jobs. And you know what? Davis Bacon. Yeah! Davis Bacon. <laughs> what we're talking about, and my, my colleagues have talked about some of the specifics in the bill, I wanted to give you some thrust as to the, this is, that's not all of the money, but that's just a, a sample of what's in there for the state of New York. And when we're doing this, what, what, what are we doing? We're improving the quality of our infrastructure. The quality of our infrastructure is about the safety of our infrastructure. So this is a safety issue. When we're doing this investment in infrastructure, we're improving the quality of life for people. Shorter time in cars, less pollution in the air. We're improving the health of our children when we're building infrastructure. So it's about the quality of life, the quality of our infrastructure. It's also about the quality of our fairness. As was mentioned, this is about uh, uh, justice in how we build environmental justice, also justice. The president has 40% uh, equity and, and justice in the legislation uh, so that we're not, as we're building, intensifying injustices, but removing them. It's a remarkable bill because it's not only built on the infrastructure needs, but it's built on justice and fairness and values. It's quite remarkable. It's quite remarkable, but it's not all. We have more to do, and we're going to do that as we uh, address the climate issues. Those are good paying jobs, uh, construction jobs as well, and they will be Davis Bacon, prevailing wage Davis Bacon as well. As the distinguished chairman mentioned and others alluded to, the previous president talked about infrastructure all the time, but never wanted to make the important decisions or pay for it. This legislation is paid for. So again, we are not only creating the jobs of construction, but the jobs that are generated from moving commer uh, promoting commerce, moving people to and from work, product to and from uh, uh, to the marketplace. So it's not only the jobs in the here and now, it's the jobs that will be generated by all of it. And, the, and part of it all is the uh, workforce development that goes with it. Part of that tied to uh, broadband, part of it tied to apprenticeship programs in our unions, our laborers, our companies. I've been to their, around the country, I've been to, for example, the uh, the training center in Las Vegas of the carpenters. I've met with the women in drywall there. Yeah. We want women, women in these 
jobs as well. And uh, what we'll do in our next bill is to ensure that many more women have the opportunity because, because of improvements in China lowering the cost of child care and, and uh, affording people the opportunity to have health care at home so that moms and dads can uh, be at work and universal pre-k and all the things that enable many more women to take their rightful place in the building trades as we have some leaders here yeah. now uh, doing Woo. so it is um, to be here at the Brook Brooklyn Bridge I mean it, it is an icon in our country. It's a pioneer. It is a, again, a, a suspension bridge unmatched in the world, unsurpassed. And it's also something that many people have bought over and over again. How many times did they say they were going to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge? Why? <laughs> because it's so beautiful. And who would not want to own it? But the, the, the point of it is how it was built. Imagine imagine the skill the courage the imagination to build that bridge what 135 years ago something like that something so remarkable but our bridges across the country tens of thousands of them are in disrepair and we had to bring the money home to repair them again so that they can be sustained but also so that can be saved so this is about safety it's about economic growth. It's about respecting workers. It's about engaging women and minorities more in the workforce with workforce development. This is really a cause for celebration. And I'll just close by saying this one thing. Did I say I was going to close before? Well, I'm going to close again. This would not have happened without the outside mobilization. We can do just so much in our inside maneuvering. Our great president having a vision having a great vision, but you still have to get the bill passed. And you had to do this in a bipartisan way. So I thank our friends in union movement. Yes. Because their outside mobilization in a bipartisan way was very important uh, to passing all of this. So again, this is a great moment and I'm so happy that we're here in Brooklyn uh, to celebrate it and with these distinguished leaders in the Congress, our distinguished chair, Hakeem Jeffries, Madam Chair of the Small Business Committee, Nydia Velasquez, uh, I just uh, was with her for her birthday yesterday. Well, her birthday's not for another week or two, but we celebrated. We've been celebrating it for, uh, for a while now. And of course, Yvette Clark, a, a force uh, in the Congress. Again, it's great to be in Brooklyn. I know that my colleagues would like to take any difficult questions you may have <laughs> from the press. But once again, let us recognize it's about justice, it's about safety, it's about quality of life, it's about prevailing wage. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you.